But I want you to think back now to your childhood. Was there a dish that your mom or grandma made that just seemed to make your worries melt away? I can tell you my grandma made pancakes. Oh, they were so good. Well, today we're going to learn how to make something that's guaranteed to nourish your body and your soul. And to help us out with that, I want to welcome Tommy Vincent. She's a chef, a multimedia personality, and wife of all pro NFL cornerback Troy Vincent. Thank you so much for joining us today, Tommy. Thank you so much for having me, Mona. And if I'd have known that you loved your grandmother's pancakes, we would have been over here flipping some pancakes. Oh, okay. Well, next time, okay? We have an appointment for next time, okay? Well, you've got another dish that I love that you're going to be making for us today. Tell us about it. So we are making a um, mushroom avocado toast, and this recipe is actually something that I put together for my daughter, Hadassah. She has an egg allergy, and she loves avocado toast. And so I wanted her to be able to have the avocado toast with a bunch of different textures and create something that was really filling and also extremely tasteful. And so I'm actually mashing up the avocados right here. And I have my mushrooms going in my pan right now um, under a medium heat, over a medium heat. And I'm going to add in my garlic and my shallots so that they can begin to saute down. And mushrooms have a lot of water in them. And so I hit it with the salt earlier so that way it could help cause that moisture that's in the mushrooms to come out. That looks so good. And you know what? You tell us that this dish nourishes the body and the soul. Why do you say that? Because I believe that food has the power to touch the spaces in our soul that we didn't even realize we needed that to take place. Mm -hmm. And when food is prepared with the main ingredient of love, it really does do something magical within us. And so this food right here, because I know that I'm putting my heart and soul into this dish, that it has that love all engulfed in it and that whoever has the opportunity to eat it, it's going to nourish them in a way that is going to give them new life. I love the way you look at food. That is fantastic, Tommy. You also have some affirmations that go along with your cooking. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, so like you talked about your grandmother's pancakes. My grandmother really taught me about the qualities of community and what the table brings to brings to any family and to any gathering and the ability to sit around that table and pour love and life into one another. And so for me, anytime I have an opportunity to gather people around the table, um, I have an annual women's retreat. And so when we gather, we have the ability to talk about some things that matter to us and that will help to continue to forge us forward into our best selves. So I have a tool I created called the You Will. And one of the affirmations is, I will be the CEO of me because we mm. are our own business. And it's important for us to mind it because when we focus in on ourselves and we develop ourselves in our best way possible, we are guaranteed to become everything that God created us to be. I love it. I will be the CEO of me. I love that. Hey, Tommy, if people want to follow you and um, your journey, get some those great recipes, especially for that dish you're making right now that I'm looking at <laughs> that I really want some of, how can they get, to get in touch with you or connect with you? People can follow me on all social media channels at Chef Tommy V, and that's Tommy with an I. All right, Tommy, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. I appreciate you having me.